So yeah. when we say don't use effects, we're not saying you can't use effects, but maybe instead what we're saying is if you think you want to use effects, you probably want RxJS. Yeah, right? don't don't use effects. I think kind of means um, effects are intended to synchronize the you know state with the outside world. Mm. So don't use effects to synchronize state with other state. It's probably the the kind of strongest way we can word that and be more clear. So if you think about it only in terms of watching an individual event happen, you can have multiple events in sequence and you'll run your event handler multiple times. That's what's supposed to happen. That's how events are supposed to work. Um, but it's not a great way to propagate state because you don't really care about the intermediate state here, right? The user will never see this state of page top being 20 and offset top not having been updated yet because you're trying to update both of them. Uh, and you really only care that the user sees the final result. And so signals have this implicit batching mechanism where the effect will run, but it'll run once the graph is consistent. So once you've kind of updated all the signals that need to be updated. So in the, the effect style here, right? If I do page top set 20, offset top set to 120, um, only when I stop updating signals and Angular knows like, hey, now it's time to synchronize this reactive state with the outside world, only then does the effect run. So this is going to have a delay and then they're both going to pop up. Whereas the other one is going to basically run faster. The, it will run synchronously, but there is no delay as far as the user is concerned. Mm -hmm. um, Angular will guarantee that it will run before the next kind of browser paint, right? So they and it will. See it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it will rely on the, let's say, the, the block inside the computed or effect or something, the uh, list of dependencies or, or signal dependent. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And if you have conditions or so, if you have, uh, I mean, conditions inside your code block. Yeah, like use offset, right? Like if we do this or it's just page top. Um, yeah, then if use offset is false, we won't end up depending on offset top. So changing the offset top can't affect the result of this computation at all. Okay. So it's, it's kind of a, a natural um, connection that if the value isn't used in the calculation, then it can't affect the result of the calculation. And so Lord. we don't need to rerun whenever it changes. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Okay, so summarize it again for us because you've got the after render effect and then if you scroll down, you have the combined latest, which kind yeah. of do the same thing. Yeah. And so you're using, yeah, comments are good. Yeah. So because you're using... when you're showing us like this does this and this does this, they do the same thing. We want to clarify again, what is the difference yeah. between the two and when do you use it versus over here, over there. Yeah. I don't know what syntax I was going for here. This should be subscribed. You're doing great. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So when you're using RxJS to track state or you would do it in the... Um, yeah, which is events, right? And so the real the real thing we're trying to illustrate here is like, when does the difference between events and state signals matter? And it matters in terms of the like how often you run the reactions, right? Events, you don't want to drop events. You want every event to kind of propagate through the system because you've specified that you want to react to that event. Um, but with signals, you're kind of not interested in the event of a signal changing. You're only interested in when do I need to reapply the side effect, right? When do I need to synchronize the kind of outside world with the value of the signals, with the state that's stored in my signal graph. And it's a different way of looking at the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're kind of less concerned with how often that happens or exactly when that happens. You're only really concerned with, does it eventually happen? So you get eventual consistency with the outside world. 
Yeah, and if you do care about keeping keeping up with everything as it's going, then you should be going with the RxJS. Yeah, because you if if you care, then you're probably reacting to an event, right? You would never use a signal to like describe button clicks because you don't want to like forget about button clicks. So maybe it would be simple to say if okay, because we talk about RxJS versus signals, right? Which is a very common topic. RxJS and yeah. signals, and and we really, and I love in my training to like draw a very clear line because we want to make it very easy for architects to make decisions. So yeah. when we say don't use effects, we're not saying you can't use effects, but maybe instead what we're saying is if you think you want to use effects, you probably want RxJS. Yeah, right? don't don't use effects. I think kind of means um, effects are intended. To synchronize the you know state with the outside world, mm. so don't use effects to synchronize state with other state. It's probably the the kind of strongest way we can word that and be more clear than just don't use.